All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Want to give my thoughts there on the Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania if this match happens or whatever. Um, you know, of course, we didn't want Orton against Cena again. This is going to be different or whatever there. Uh, yeah, okay. But Orton and Wyatt itself there, the actual match with Cena not involved in the equation, the actual match itself there. There's even talk that it might be a triple threat with Cena, which <laughs> would be a big waste of Cena in my opinion there. But uh, just the match itself, Wyatt against Orton. My initial thought, my feelings, is who gives a fuck? Who cares, man? This is like a mid-card match on the regular SmackDown there. Orton against Bray Wyatt. Is this really WrestleMania <laughs> material? You know, who the fuck gives a shit? Really, it looks boring. First of all, they've already had a match before. They had some kind of little mid-card feud on SmackDown. They had a pay-per-view with this match. I don't even fucking remember <laughs> which one there. But, um, you know, the match wasn't really interesting. Just a plain match. Nothing entertaining, really. Nothing exciting. I don't even fucking remember the match. I've watched it. But, you know, I wasn't impressed by this whatsoever. Nobody else was impressed. Nobody was sitting there. God dang. How about that Orton and Bray Wyatt match that, that we can't remember there? You know, and they had the match before. It, it, it's not a big deal. It's not exciting in any way. All right, let's take... A shit match that nobody gives a flying fuck about. And let's put this at WrestleMania for some reason there. <laughs> you know? Um, so they have this feud. Nobody cares. For some reason, Orton then joins the Wyatt family. And when this happened, nobody cared again. Most people were saying... <laughs> They've already done this with Daniel Bryan, so nobody was excited for Orton and Wyatt getting together. You already know that it's not going to last, right? It makes no fucking sense. Orton, 12-time world champion. He's beaten everybody. He's won all kind of big events. For some reason, he's going to take the advice of a mid-carder. And he's going to become Bray Wyatt's bitch there. Makes no sense. I'm a 12-time world champ. And this beginner who never did fuck all there, he's my boss now for some reason. So Orton joining makes no sense to begin with. We've already seen stuff like this. It's not exciting. And nobody gives a flying fuck there. So you have Orton and the Wyatt's. Again, nobody cares. It's just a mid-card thing. You have Orton feuding with Luke Harper. <laughs> Shit like this, you know. And for some reason, this is now a, ma a WrestleMania main event. Out of nowhere, Orton wins the Rumble, which is fucking cheap, man. A bunch of big names, young guys. For some reason, Orton wins. Fucking retarded there. And then... Bray Wyatt wins the belt, okay, yeah, <laughs> everybody wanted Bray Wyatt to win, but like, you know, three years ago, people wanted this there, you have a bunch of big names right now in the company, you put the belt on Bray Wyatt for Wrestlemania, you fucking kidding me there, am I watching TNA or what, there, <laughs> no offense, but... You could have taken the WWE title and did something with it. There are people wanted Orton or, or, or Cena and Taker for the WWE title. 
and you put you put uh, fucking the belt with Orton and Wyatt. Why? I don't understand. Why is Bray Wyatt going into Mania with the title? After doing nothing, this is like a group that nobody gives a fuck about right now. And, and, and you know, I don't fucking understand. Okay, well, Bray Wyatt's the champ, it's, it's cool or whatever. Not that I really care, to be honest, at this point. But he's going to WrestleMania with the big belt. Come on there. That's... To me, it, it's fucking stupid. That's how I think. I, I, I think it's fucking retarded, to be honest there. But whatever. Um, so basically, story-wise, it's like, who cares? What are we supposed to think? Oh my God, Orton and Wyatt are going to face each other. Whoa, man, they've been friends for about three weeks, man. We already knew that they were going to split up eventually there. And so why the fuck do I give a shit again? <laughs> Please remind me. Oh, and this is for the world title. And I don't give a flying fuck at all about this feud. How entertaining. How fucking amazing there. Give me a feud that, that sucked. Put him together when we already know they're going to split up there. And then make him fight for the biggest belt. And nobody gives a motherfuck at all about this match. Or, or, or fucking the belt being around Wyatt. Give us that for the world title. A piece of shit garbage match that wasn't even good before. And, and for some reason this match is at Mania. Give me a fucking break there. I think the story and, and my reasons for caring about this match there, I think it's right down the fucking toilet. And match quality, it's going to be very plain. We've already seen the match. Nothing exciting there. Orton wins with an RKO. And Luke Harper may be getting involved there with his... His eyes or whatever. Who is it? The big bald ginger beard retard who's gonna get involved there? Eric Rowan. Is that what I have to look forward to in this match? Oh my God! Orton's gonna punt Eric Rowan. Oh, they don't let him do it as usual. They don't let him do the punt. Ho oh, ho! I'm excited here. Give me a fucking break. Fuck this match. And if it's a triple threat with Cena, then that's a fucking waste of Cena. Fuck this shit. Putting the belt on Wyatt fucking two, two months before Mania. Nobody gives a flying fuck. Give me a fucking break here. Till next time. Peace.